Hey, good day everybody. I've got a computer here that has the so-called FBI virus. This virus uh, looks like it was put out by the FBI and if I had a webcam hooked to this computer you would actually see my image in this little box here. And if you look over here it's given me instructions how to pay them um, $200 to remove this virus I simply go to one of these locations I pick up a, uh, a money pack in the amount of two hundred dollars and then I proceed with these instructions and they'll take the virus off my computer and um, again they're posing to be the FBI and this is totally bogus, totally false. And I'm going to show you how to remove this virus. So hang on a bit and we'll get started. Well, once you get this virus, it kind of takes over your machine. And the only thing you can really do is um, start the machine up and... Um, and try again. This time what you want to do is unplug the Ethernet cable. So if you have a cable like this that goes to your high-speed internet, just make sure you unplug it. If you have a, a laptop with a wireless, um, turn off the wireless key and um, that's step one. Okay, now that we've got the internet cable unplugged from the machine, the machine's back off, and if it's a laptop, we've uh, disabled the Wi-Fi uh, key. What we're going to do now is go ahead and lo locate F8 on our keyboard, which is here. Just make sure you know what it is. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to go ahead and turn on our computer. We're going to come over here real quick and start hitting F8 and watching your screen. I'm just tapping away. And we'll get to the screen right here. Now there's several things we can do if this is a Windows 7 machine. If it's an XP machine, this will also work. Um, for ease of use, what we're going to uh, do is we're going to come down uh, with our arrow keys here and we're going to come down to safe mode right there hit enter and you're going to get a screen like this and it's going to start up it might take a few minutes so be patient Okay, good. If you've been following my instructions so far, your computer is now rebooted and you are at, at the desktop and you have a what is safe mode um, displayed on your screen, like this one. So you're going to concentrate on the start menu here. In the search box, go ahead and type in R. S T R U I dot E X E. Again, it's R S T R U I dot E X E. Press enter. Now, this might take a while, um, so you do have to be patient but this is what should happen is this thing here should pop up and this is going to allow us to restore our file to a previous date and time so you're going to come down here and you're going to click on next and you're going to get some date and times and each one of these date and times represents a point in time when the computer had been saved you're wanting to look down through here for a time when you think you were safe and if in doubt go to a date and time before this happened if you knew this happened on Thursday 
um, go to a Wednesday. If you knew it happened on Sunday, go to a Saturday date. If there is no Saturday date, go to the next available one before this happened. Um, so I am going to choose um, this 10-3 date. And I am going to select next. You are going to want to check uh, the C drive to restore and hit next. It's asking to confirm finish yes and this will go on for a while and I'll be back as soon as it comes back so you just have to be patient at this point so hang on okay very good the restore process has finished it rebooted to my desktop and everything seems fine I still have the Ethernet cord unplugged I want to go ahead and shut down one last time. I'm going to locate my Ethernet plug and go ahead and plug it back in. Here's my Ethernet wire. Now if you're if you're doing this to a laptop you can go ahead and push the key which makes the network uh, look for Wi-Fi again. And we're gonna go ahead and restart the machine one last time. And now that it took to the network, um, if our virus is gone we shouldn't have any more messages. See what happens. Well, so far so good. I don't see any FBI stuff popping up here. It's a really good sign. I'm still waiting for all the drivers and whatnot to load, but that shouldn't take very long. So, I would say this one's fixed. So I hope that uh, you had some success with fixing yours. Uh, the only step left to do is to load a virus checker program and to go ahead and run a full scan after you're done with um, doing this procedure that we just talked about and then um, you know anything that it finds make, make sure that you quarantine any viruses. Um, that's it. This procedure will also work on a lot of other different types of viruses however uh, depending on the type your mileage may vary so all you can really do is try it okay to recap the steps that we did we unplugged the ethernet cable or disable the Wi-Fi key on a laptop we restarted our machine by typing uh, uh, I'm sorry by tapping F8 until the safe mode come up we selected the safe mode as soon as the uh, computer came on we went into the run box and we, we typed in rstrui.exe and then we chose a date on the calendar um, that we knew we didn't have a virus and then we restored it to that day and then we went ahead and restarted and put our internet cable back in and checked our work and then finally we installed a uh, antivirus program and did a full scan on our system. And that should take care of it. So I hope uh, your poems have gone away. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all our new subscribers and our comments. We like them. 
and uh, thumbs up the video and uh, take care. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.